Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to feed the scatter data with spline interpolation method in Python. Interpolation is a technique for estimating unknown data points within a given range. Spline interpolation uh, is a form of piecewise polynomial interpolation, offering a valuable approach for smoothing core or surface data. In my prior uh, tutorials, I demonstrated the implementation of spline and bspline interpolation methods using the Cypher library in Python. Now we'll explore how to employ the spline smoothing technique on scattered data. This tutorial will guide you through fitting scattered data using spline functions in Python. Let's get started. First, we'll load in the required libraries for this tutorial. Here we use scipy, matplotlib, and numpy libraries. Now I run this code and we loaded all the libraries here. Uh, next, we generate sample data. Here we generate X and Y data and add some noise and visualize it in a plot. So here is uh, the target scattered data for us to fit with, with uh, spline interpolation. To create a smoother spline fit, it's uh, essential to specify the number of nodes for this target data. Nodes represent uh, joints in the polynomial segments. Based on the chosen number of nodes, we can de determine a new vector for x data using the quantile function. Subsequently, we can obtain the required coefficients value using SPLREP uh, function. The SPL wrap function returns a tuple uh, containing the vector of nodes, B spline coefficients, and the degree of the spline. Then we proceed to evalu evaluate the B spline using the obtained coefficients with a B spline class. Uh, this evaluation will provide us with a smoothed core. Uh, here is the code. First, we specify the number of nodes uh, here. Uh, we, I set five here. Then we extract all elements from the second to the second to last in the array, excluding the first and last elements. Then we generate nodes using quantile function. Then we compute B spline representation using the SPL rep. Here we provide X and Y and quantile nodes, and the S is a smoothness. Then we evaluate B spline by using SPL uh, B spline class. Here we, we need to provide those coefficients. Then we fit x data and we'll uh, get uh, the fitted curve and we can visualize them in a plot. Here is the result. Uh, we, we got the, the fitted curve by using spline uh, method here. Next is a B-spline fit with different node configurations. The current curve appears satisfactory, but it's essential to explore different options by using the number of uh, nodes. In this step, we'll visualize the curves uh, generated with various node configurations. To begin, we'll create a function that enables us to fit uh, the Y data using different number of nodes, as demonstrated below. Here we define a function for B-spline curve fitting and it returns the fitted Y data. And uh, here is the same code uh, we, we have seen above. So first we de define the range and we create a new X data and we get the quantile nodes. Then we use SPL rep and finally B spline fitting. Then we'll uh, define the list of uh, the nodes configuration to visualize. Uh, then we create a two by two subplots. Then we iterate through the subplots. And uh, here we will calculate the B spline fitting for the current node configuration and visualize it in a plot. Now I run the code. Here is the output. The first graph shows uh, the number of uh, nodes is three. Second one is 10 and 20 and 30. The first one is much smooth. Uh, and uh, if we increase not number, there uh, the, uh, some overfitting happens. So you can choose appropriate uh, not number uh, based on your uh, fitting criteria. 
In this tutorial, we explored how to visualize the spline curve fitting with varying number of nodes. The function spline allows uh, flexibility in specifying the number of nodes, and the loop generates multiple plots to compare the fits with different node configuration. That's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and hit like button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.